How's it going, Troublemaker? Good. Still here. Okay. They haven't gotten rid of you yet. No, but they keep trying. Got it. We're not going to let them, huh? A pretty good deal here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, yes. It's already more people than I expected it would be. Me too. Yeah. So I think I'm we're doing pretty good. Pleasantly surprised. So now, okay, you work for Freedom, and so tell me, where are we at? Quartzsite, Arizona, the and very western edge of Arizona, 20 miles from the Colorado River. And you are? Michael Roth. Okay, and then have you, have you, so you're a local, you're a nonconformist to the regime? Yes, that's one way of putting and it. You're, and you're not, you don't get any, any Christmas cards or anything like that? No one invited to the parties, no dinners, no nothing. And you're paying, and, and then they're stealing your money and, and uh, using it for whatever Taxing they want? me, fining me, ticketing me, harassing me. That's all calmed down lately since, you know, the world's been watching. Right. But still, still happening. Right. I've been in court every day, I mean every week this past month. Okay. Four. Uh, just it's ongoing garbage all the time. Last time uh, a town council member, Joe Winslow, got a justice of the peace to have my guns taken away from I heard about that. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? A JP violating her oath of office. Completely. Well, and, you know, we asked for attorney fees. She denied it. And wow. And this go goofy reason saying, because I didn't show up. Well, I was out of town when this all happened. They knew it. It was all a justice system set up. And uh, she said, well, if you had showed up, you know, this might not have happened. Which makes no sense because she vacated her decision. On the day of our hearing, we had to have an attorney. And we didn't even have to appear for that. So the whole thing's insanity. It's all about control and money, huh? Yeah, yeah. the local powers that be. Uh, Has the sheriff been invited to our rally? I mean, not the sheriff. I certainly made it known online. No, but I mean the, the, the policeman, the police uh, chief, chief, chief of police. What's the, what's the head uh, chief of police? What's his name? Al Adolf uh, Hitler? Yeah, Adolf uh, <laughs> Jeff uh, Hitler Gilbert, yes. Adolf Jeff, Adolf Hitler uh, Gilbert? Close. We we know. Yeah, the the guy with the badge and the gun. Okay, but he's got a little penis. Penis man con complex. Uh, complex. There got it. Go. Okay. Yes, so. that's what we have here, and finally people have stood up to him. It's an interesting uh, thing, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. I love it when you get all these people together, and we're not even started. I know, this is good. I mean, this is already doing very well. I'm 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 quite impressed already. Okay, so. Uh, has the chief of police, Adolf Jeff Hitler Gilbert, has he been invited? I'm sure. I mean, did anyone Maybe call him? Can you call him and invite him personally? Do we have I his don't number? Have his number, no. Do uh, we know anyone that has his number that can invite him the mayor personally? Does. Maybe Jennifer Jones does. Okay. Well, I think we should invite him because well, you're he's saying he's been invited. Right, I but mean, do you think he will show up? No. Why? Because he's a coward. So you're saying that that the the chief of police is what? Howard. Ah. Yes, he started this whole mess. This is all a result of him. I mean, you ask anybody who's lived here any amount of time, it's him and his cronies. How long has he been in, in charge, or how long? Eight has he been? years. Oh, he so you've been under get... his regime, huh? Yeah, yeah. And he's it... elected official, or? No, no, he's a, an anointed. Oh, okay. Uh, but he was about to get fired from his previous position in our previous corrupt town attorney town manager Dan Field who is he a coward too he's a he's a local scumbag uh, okay he's, he's now the county administrator and he's destroyed in this county like he destroyed this town this used to be the freest market in the entire state of Arizona people would come here for from around the world and spend months here now we have maybe a two to four week period where people come here and they don't like it anymore because of the over uh, heavy-handed police state. Because you're like living in a poli in a prison complex, yes. right? Yes. So he's just so freedom brings br with freedom you have prosperity. Is that what you're saying? Yes, absolutely. You get the government out and you have instant prosperity. So if you wanted to turn around our country, what would you do? Get rid of the uh, government at all levels. Cut back. We have too much government everywhere. Like we how much of a slash a would you say? What would be your uh, estimate? I'd start at 50%. Uh, that's where you'd start? Mm -hmm. I'd start to. a little higher. <laughs> I'd say, well... 75, I think uh, it'd be about yeah, right. It'd be a shock to the system. Yeah, you're right. It would be. There, people, yeah, there's too many people that are dependent on the on the, being on the public dole and, and stealing, you know, taking the largesse that the government has stolen from the people who are actually out there working. Yeah. And we might not be able to do 50%, but I would shoot for that. Uh, That'd be a good there. place to start. Yeah. Yep. Oh, cool.